before that, she married Vincente Minnelli in 1945. They had met on the set of Meet Me in St. Louis, which Minnelli directed. Minnelli actually lived as an openly gay man, which was fairly rare in Hollywood circles at the time. But the two entered into a lavender marriage. Apparently, Judy was fully aware of Minnelli's homosexuality and didn't have any issues with it. She, in fact, felt she was helping him out due to the stringent morality clauses abundant at the time. The two had a daughter, Eliza, who went on to become a Hollywood legend herself. Now it's time to hear from you. Which one of these couples was the most surprising to hear about? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a Robert Taylor and Barbara Stanwyck. The marriage of these two iconic actors supposedly was arranged to cover up both stars' alleged bisexuality and has been frequently labeled as a lavender marriage. But it's also been suggested the marriage was prompted by necessity to protect both celebs' reputations after an article was published in Photoplay magazine that reported they'd been living together for years despite not being married. Little Richard it wasn't a big surprise when singer-songwriter Little Richard confessed in a 1995 penthouse interview that he was gay all along. The world seemed to smile and agree with a collective sigh of, at last. After all, Little Richard had always worn women's makeup on stage, exaggerated his feminine gestures in his act, and liked to dress as a woman, so his admission wasn't a huge revelation to most. What remains unclear, however, is his marriage to Ernestine Campbell from 1959 to 63, a relationship that's hardly mentioned, let alone explained. Rock Hudson Rock Hudson's towering and handsome presence made Running a small business? Create your invoices at skynova.com. Easy, but professional. Drinking coffee every day didn't work for me, but I couldn't figure out why until I went from 184 women go weak in the knees. He dominated the silver screen in the 50s, often sharing it with legends like Elizabeth Taylor and Doris Day, in various movies ranging from comedies to dramas. He tied the knot with Phyllis Gates when he was 30, but the marriage lasted only three years. Hudson kept his sexuality a secret, though many of his co-stars knew or at least strongly suspected he was gay. Sadly, he succumbed to AIDS-related complications in 1985 at age 60, leaving behind his longtime lover, Mark Christian, who later sued his estate. Hudson's death raised awareness and support for the AIDS crisis and its research. Adrian Adolf Greenberg and Janet Gaynor Janet Gaynor, a Hollywood star, and Adrian, a costume designer, wed in a marriage of convenience in 1939 and had a son. They both had same-sex attractions, but they hid them under a forced marriage by the studio system. Adrian died in 1959, and Gaynor remarried to producer Paul Gregory. Gaynor and Gregory befriended Broadway star Mary Martin, who also liked both genders, and her husband, Richard Halliday, a drama critic who likewise kept his homosexuality a secret. The four lived together on Martin's ranch in Goiás, Brazil, for a number of years. Cole Porter Cole Porter, a renowned songwriter and composer, lived as if the titles of his famous songs like Anything Goes and Don't Fence Me In were his personal life mottos. He remained married to Linda Lee Thompson for 35 years until her death in 1954. But rumor had it Porter had many flings and affairs with men until he died in Santa Monica from kidney failure in 1964 at age 73. Porter and his late wife had no kids, and most of his royalties now belong to the kids of Porter's best friend, Ray Kelly. Tony Richardson Richardson was a TV and theater director and a film and TV producer who was wed to actress Vanessa Redgrave for five years, from 1962 to 67. The couple had two daughters, both actresses, Natasha, born in 1963, and Jolie Richardson, born in 1965. Richardson revealed his bisexuality in 1985 after years of rumors about his sexual preference. That same year, he learned he had HIV. The virus quickly progressed to AIDS, and Richardson passed away from related complications in L.A. in 1991. Anthony Perkins Perkins, who played the twisted hotel owner Norman Bates in Hitchcock's iconic horror film Psycho, had several romances and flings with men in his youth. But he wed actress Barry Berenson in 1973 and went on to father two sons with her in 74 and 76. 
Perkins succumbed to AIDS and pneumonia in Hollywood in 1992, while Berenson tragically died on Flight 11 on 9-11. Alan Cumming Alan Cumming is a Scottish actor who is openly bisexual. He was married to actress Hilary Leon for eight years, from 1985 to 93. Some sources claim this was a lavender marriage, a marriage of convenience to conceal his sexuality. But Cumming has never confirmed or denied this allegation. He later dated actress Saffron Burroughs for two years before meeting his current husband, graphic artist Grant Schaefer. Cumming and Schaefer became civil partners in London in 2007 and legally married in New York in 2012. Jack Wrangler Wrangler was a trailblazing gay movie star who married a woman he adored in his later years. He wed singer Margaret Whiting in 1994 after he quit acting and went on to create musicals for her to perform in. Wrangler was always open about his sexuality, though he faced backlash from his fans for going straight when he married Whiting. His most famous quote about his sexuality was, I'm gay, but I could never live a gay lifestyle because I'm much too competitive. Wagner passed away from emphysema in New York City in 2009. Cary Grant Cary Grant was one of the most popular and charming movie stars of Hollywood's golden age. He was also the subject of persistent rumors about his sexuality, which he denied throughout his life. Some sources claim he was gay or bisexual and that he had relationships with men before and during his five marriages to women. One of his alleged lovers was Randolph Scott, another actor with whom he shared a house for several years in the 30s. They posed... What rapper we know shared the apartment together in Brooklyn with a football player. Actor with whom he shared a house for several years in the 30s. They posed together for fan magazines and were close friends until Grant's death in 1986. But there's no definitive proof Grant was gay, and some of his co-stars and friends have defended his heterosexuality. Now, I've never heard of lavender marriage. I never heard of that, right? Until yesterday, and and then I started researching it, and Jesus Christ, some of the biggest, biggest stars lived a lie right in front of the world, as they do today. Now, when we dead and gone, you know what I'm saying, there's going to be a video just like this one from these 30s and 40s and 50s movies, and it's going to be our time. It's going to be the same big-ass stars that of today, <coughs> just like them, film, music, television, and it's, it's going to be the same thing. It's probably people from that, that era that never knew that. <laughs> or uh, if they still alive, they probably yeah, they probably just finding out. Let me see by any chance. If they did one of these lately. 